LPRJ has always abided by the principle of peaceful coexistence all the time. From 96 to date, LPRJ has never attacked anybody. Remember, we got one, one of our militants killed, and uh, day before, I think yesterday, we almost had three ladies killed by the same party. So uh, the principle of maintaining peace will not be compromised, because without peace and stability, Africa can never go forward. And I will never compromise peace and stability at the altar of so-called so democracy. President, what do you make of the ECOWAS statement, please. ECOWAS statement. It's written by a person who is lower, so I will not respond to him. That, that is for the permanent secretary to respond. Uh, Your Excellency, you've been talking about peace and reconciliation during your campaign. Are you thinking of a unity government if you were to win? No. And what, if what, what do you mean by unity government? Unity Bringing government? the opposition. No, why, why, why should I building? I don't have an opposition. You don't have an opposition? But we have a people who hate this country. And I, will, and I will not work with them. Because if, if there were people that were real op 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 opposition that want peace and stability for this country, I'm ready to work with them. After all, that's one of them who's working with me. He's a governor. Okay? People who want peace, I'm ready to work with anybody. But those who want to destroy this country, no. Why? I will explain. When things are good, they are unhappy. They have gone around the world to tarnish the image of this country. This country, we fear only God. And as I, as the president, I don't care about what people say. What matters to me is the development of this country, the peace and stability of this country, because we Africans have been insulted for centuries and this is unacceptable. I will not follow anybody. I follow God and my religion and my people. Mr. President, how confident are you of winning? How confident are you, are you of winning? Uh, are you just coming? Did you see the people? Did you see the people? Gambians are development oriented people. They want development for this country and they know who can deliver development. Thank you. Will you accept the results? If you don't, if you don't win, will you accept the results? Do I look like a loser? That's no way I can lose. Because the Gambians. The, unless you tell me that all Ghanaian people are mad, or oh, people, Ghanaian people do not want development. But in the event that I lose, it's the body of the Ghanaian people. I go by the body of the Ghanaian people and by nobody else. I'm here for the Ghanaian people, and any day the Ghanaian people say we don't want you, I'll go home and be a farmer. I'm, I'm a farmer. I don't depend. I don't depend on anybody. I depend on myself. My message has always been the same. Uh, those who want peace and development for this country, irrespective of what your political party aff affiliation we are welcome. Those who want to see this country destroyed for them to win election, they will never see peace in this country. Because I'm not going to compromise the peace and stability of this country uh, for a few individuals. Now, when I talk about uh, rights and rights, human rights, freedom of the press, somebody said that, uh, I remember it was, uh, I would say it in World of Africa. Somebody said that uh, this country is a hell for journalists. Well, there, there are freedoms and there are responsibilities. The journalists are less than 1% of the population. And if anybody expects me to allow less than 1% of the population to destroy 99% of the population, you are, you, you are in the wrong place. You should also be ready to be accountable because you are writing about somebody. So, being a journalist does not mean the license to kill. Character assassination will not be accepted. After all, in the countries, they took a woman to jail. They didn't even try her for refusing to divulge. Now, Africa, we have our values, we have our culture, and we have our norms. I, I told you, I'm not a follower, I'm a leader. I will not follow anybody's footsteps. Because if, if you follow anybody, you will always be behind the person. What I'm telling you is, you are free as long as your freedom does not encroach upon the freedom, uh, unjustly encroach on, upon the freedom of others. If the Ayajame has stolen right, but not that Ayajame is a person, if it is not true, I'll take you to court. If I don't want 
Anything to be written about me that is bad, I should not do anything that is bad. You are free to write whatever you want to write, but I also have a right to, f to defend my integrity. So if that is not, if, if that is a violation of the press freedom, then I don't know what type of press freedom. So, preach, practice what we preach. Anyway, the bottom line is what matters to me is the African people. You're talking, telling me, you know what? Oh, good. Well, I have to message you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to tell you. Of course, why not? <laughs> you expect her to vote for who? She's my wife, do you know that? <laughs> well, yeah, she voted for me, of course. <laughs> 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 Will you run for president again in 2016? 2016 for the government people to decide. I don't decide what I do in... I don't... I don't... Uh, uh, I don't decide what happens in f 15 years. What I want is... If you ask me... 20 what? The next election. Oh, you're asking me that. You know, we have to be some 2020. And I have to achieve it. And I will go to elections as long as the Gambians want me. If the Gambians don't want me, I'll go to Canela. election, are you ready to be crowned king? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a servant of the Gambian people. I don't decide for them. They decide for me. I'm a, wo I'm a worker for them. I'm a servant. I do what the Gambian people want. The unfortunate incident has always been unfortunate incident. That is, in terms of what, especially, because the voting system has always been the same. There's no way you can cheat. You have, you've seen the bull. Can we put it in somebody? Can somebody go in there and take the bull uh, from from somebody's box and put it into another box? Can you? Even a blind man can vote as long as he can know where the box is. So can he cheat? And remember that when, when, when they are ready, they go, all the representatives, the polling agents of each party, they will go in at the same time. Each party takes their box, they take it to a counting station, where they count the boxes one by one, and all the polling agents have to sign to confirm the result before if it, it is even sent to the IEC. The IEC, at the IEC also, you have a panel of all the political parties that will verify and sign and say we are satisfied. When they are satisfied, then the IEC chairman would announce the results. So, but uh, in terms of the difference, of course there is always a difference. We have more people supporting us now than ever before. You know, and we have also seen the opposition the way they Why? Go and ask them. I'm appealing to GRTS, the president is here. I'm appealing to GRTS, let them cover them. Let the whole world see their meetings. Mr. Chairman, <laughs> every election, each party is given five minutes of their time, whether ruling or not. I know. And from 96 to date, date mm -hmm. my party has always followed the part of the tradition discipline. Most of the time, we are the ones that are being attacked, and we are in the majority. In, 1990s, uh, in, in 2001, our supporter was killed. In Basse. I want the IEC to make sure that this does not happen this time. We are not going to tolerate nonsense from anybody. Our people will be disciplined, but the IEC should do their work. Already, people have started citing issues of uh, examples like Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia is not Cote d'Ivoire. Who wants to bring anything like Cote d'Ivoire, you will never witness it. I want to make it very clear that they have failed to destabilize the country. Now it's campaign time, they want to destabilize the country. I'm not going to accept that. Everybody is free to vote whom you want. APRC will not fo force anybody to support us, but we will also not be harassed. So let us all play by the rules. You should monitor all our campaign. If my party is at fault, disqualify us. There is no exception. But the law, the security forces have been warned not to tolerate any nonsense from either APRC or anybody because the country belongs to us. The peace and stability of this country will not be compromised at the altar of elections. Because I know how much it has taken me and the government people to bring this country to this date. Anybody who wants to destroy it, I will destroy it. There is no doubt about it. Democracy campaign does not mean violence. Each 
each campaign, you, you remember in 96 they attacked my convoy itself at uh, Talending. They burnt the house of one of my members. In fact, they wanted to burn the, his whole family inside. Enough is enough. This is the fourth election, and uh, if you don't act, the state would act because they are still a state. The security forces will take care of their responsibilities. To avoid all this, you make sure that each party behaves. Because campaign of intimidation will not be tolerated, either by, uh, from the APRC or any other party for that matter. Go and tell the people, if they, if they agree with you, let them vote for you. If they don't agree with me, let them not vote for me. But I will not force anybody or intimidate anybody to vote for me. And I will not also harass other parties to prevent them from campaigning. But nobody also is going to harass us. I want that to be very clear because the IEC is supposed to be the referee. Be there, listen to the tone that we campaign with. If tribalism will not be tolerated, religious intolerance will not be tolerated. I just want that to be very clear. Yes. And I'm sure they'll abide by the rules because we all have seen what has happened in 2006. We have always played by the rules. In 2006, I don't know. A National Assembly member's house was burned down. An APRC militant was slaughtered and his body cut into pieces to teach us a lesson. It will not repeat. And when the, the matter went to court, there was a lot of international pressure on the on the uh, diplomats. They were harassed uh, on the magistrates, and uh, incidentally, they just acquitted and discharged the culprit. This time, it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm making that very clear. Nobody builds an African country. Nobody. Democracy has a limit. When they have election, they don't encourage violence. Why should we? So it means that we Africans are synonymous with violence. Gambia would be the exception. I want that to be very clear. We are the oh, African con uh, uh, election. Uh, violence is normal. It is not normal in the Gambia, and I will not tolerate that. I want that to be very clear. I'm not going to compromise the peace and stability of this country for anything. My country, this Gambia, would be built by Gambians and God and nobody else. So no, if anybody wants us, us to sacrifice the little we have, the hooligans to destroy it in the name of election, it's not going to happen. I want that to be very, very clear. I want that to be very clear. So you play, you are the referee. You know, sometimes a player, somebody in the pavilion, jumps into the field and slaps the referee. <laughs> because the referee is not doing his job. We will not do that. But the security forces, they, are, they, they have vowed, they have sworn to put their lives on the line to defend this country. They are not going to compromise with either APRC or, or anybody. We don't tolerate nonsense. That is why not long ago, because of indiscipline, I have to expel a member of the National Assembly of the APRC for indiscipline. We don't, we don't tolerate indiscipline. Because without discipline, Africa cannot move forward. But they will say, oh, violence, uh, election violence is normal in Africa. It is not normal in the Gambia. Gambia will be the exception. So I want, to, I want to, to make sure that it is very clear to all players. Let the hotline be known. The way that the security can always call you and say, this is what is going on. It, let it be known to the security only, because any political party can call and give a false alarm and report nonsense. So I don't want to know the hotline. Let the security forces, the IGP and the chief of defense staff and the others have the number. So that if there's any problem, they will tell you before the interview. I can assure you that none of my party supporters, none of my members of the APRC will break an egg. You know, I'm a very important man to them. I can assure you. I know. <laughs> I have in control of my party. Okay. I hope and we know that we work so hard to bring the Gambia to this level. We will not destroy it. But we will not also allow anybody to destroy it.